Oops. Uh, next up is uh, Massimo. Hi, my name is Max Safai. I'm the uh, Senior Vice President of Business Development at Massimo Corporation, and we're here to introduce our first commercially available pulse oximeter uh, to the market. This has been unveiled last week. Uh, it's on Amazon.com, and so it's, it's already available in the market. For those of you who don't know who Massimo is or what Massimo is, Massimo is a 24 year old company. Uh, we are a leading medical technology innovator and provider of non invasive measurement devices. Uh, we provide pulse oximeters to hospitals, floor monitoring devices, etc. Uh, and we've been around for quite a while. So a pulse oximeter, basically it's, a, it's a, a device that looks like this, and you've probably seen them if you've ever watched any kind of a medical show. You put your finger in there, there's light that shines from the top, and there's a detector that's on the bottom. There's red light, there's infrared light, we measure both responses, we give some ratios, some math, and we give you your your measurements. Um, a lot of technology in the past 20 uh, uh, some years have been uh, evolving in, the, in, in our company and uh, you get the benefit of all that in this little board that's in the cable here that's making a lot of calculation. Um, so this device basically measures three things. It measures your oxygen saturation, it measures your uh, perfusion index, and it measures your pulse rate. I have a, I've taken a picture of it. I'm not going to actually do the measurement right here on stage, but you can see my heart rate is a little high because I'm nervous talking to you guys. And, uh, but the oxygen saturation is 99, which is really good. That is the percentage of hemoglobin that's carrying oxygen to your uh, organs. And your perfusion index basically is a ratio of, of your, uh, what we call the, uh, the, um, the ratio of your pulsatile blood flow to static blood on your extremities. That is basically a fancy way of saying your circulation, your blood circulation. Some people who have low, uh, cold fingers, have low perfusion, so, and so on, so you can, you can feel it. Uh, this device is targeted to sport enthusiasts, uh, to sort of fine tune themselves, athletes. It's also uh, targeted towards people who want to climb in altitude, and uh, you, you know, anything above 8,000 feet, you want to be careful, you, you might suffer hypoxia. So as you climb up, you want to sort of adjust yourself and let your body acclimate. And also for uh, pilots, uh, their passengers, you know, anyone like that. So anyway, we are at booth uh, 26324 in the South Hall. Please stop by and see us. Tomorrow we have Steve Severinsen, who is a record holder in holding his breath for over 22 minutes. What? So please stop by. He's going to come by and do some dead Thank you very much. Bye-bye.